dates and duration of Jesus' public ministry. A proposition by Dr. Galen Curra. Some argue that Jesus' ministry lasted only a year because the Lord had commanded, Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male a year old. It is the Lord's Passover. And the Apostle Paul explained, Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us return to that later. Meanwhile, let us look at some historical and scriptural evidence for the dates and duration of Jesus' ministry. John the Baptist started his public ministry in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar. If Tiberius became emperor in the year 14 CE, then John began baptizing 15 years later in 29 CE. If John baptized Jesus later that year, then Jesus' public ministry started in 29 or 30 CE. If Jesus had been born in the year 2 or 3 BCE, then Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about 30 years of age. Jesus went to Jerusalem to attend the Passover feast at least three times, if not four or five times. The Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. On the second first Sabbath, he was going through the grain fields. If one accepts the variant text of some Greek manuscripts of this gospel, then it would be the first Sabbath of the Feast of Firstfruits in the second year of Jesus' ministry. Now the Passover, the Feast of the Jews, was at hand. Now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. If we accept all five Passover dates, then Jesus' ministry lasted at least four years. If dates four and five are not the same Passover, then Jesus' ministry lasted at least three years. Otherwise, Jesus' ministry lasted at least two years. Those who argue for a four-year ministry like to cite Luke chapter 13. I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And Jesus told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. So he said to the vine dresser, Look, for three years now I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? But he answered him, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig round it and put on manure. Then if it should bear fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. For centuries, Jewish Bible believers expected Messiah to appear as predicted by Daniel. Seventy weeks are decreed from the going out of the word to restore and build Jerusalem to the coming of an anointed one, Messiah. There shall be seven weeks, then sixty-two weeks. After the sixty-two weeks, an anointed one shall be cut off. They calculated those weeks of years to total 490 years, taking as a starting date 458 BCE when Emperor Artaxerxes I decreed that the Jewish scribe Ezra should go to Jerusalem and do all that God would have him to do. Messiah would have to die by some time in 33 CE. 
Jesus began his public ministry in 29 or 30 CE. Jesus attended at least three Passover feasts during at least two years. Jesus probably attended four Passover feasts during at least three years. Jesus may have attended five Passover feasts during at least four years. Jesus was crucified by some time in 33 CE. When Jewish families ate their yearling Passover lamb, it was already weaned and had grown enough to provide a meal. Although the Passover lamb served as a prefigure of Jesus' death, it did not prefigure his public ministry. Thus the dates and duration of Jesus' public ministry are best derived from verifiable historical and biblical facts and not by inference from a supposed prefigure.